Happy quarantine, beautiful people. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, right here in Ghana. It's day two out of the 30 days new video challenge. And I'm back again with another video, but just let me know in the comment section, which food are you using to survive in this quarantine period? You know what? I got my gari, my peanuts, and then sugar. And I got milk in here. Then I got a chilled bottled water. I don't know how most of you call it in your country. I don't know. Some of you don't even have, especially people coming from the East Africa and the Southern Africa. But people from the Western Africa, they know that this is the best meal ever. In Ghana, we call it Gary Soakings. I'm going to put water. I'm going to enjoy this food for you to see how best. I mean, let me, I, 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 let me, let me, let me just add water, you know, I'm going to add water to it. Yep. Then, I stir. Then I add my milk. Yo, I mean. This is the best food for this quarantine period. Okay. I'm back again with another video and it's all about the way anti coro is increasing on our continent. As of today, the continent has recorded 6,000 new cases. And what are African leaders doing to protect the people? I tell you that I always bring you positive news from Africa. When I see things like that, I feel proud as an African. I feel proud that African leaders are taking measures to protect their people. But sometimes we are so stubborn. Currently, Ghana is on a partial lockdown, yet people are still going out to be beaten by the military. I just don't get it. Just simple rules and regulations to follow. Stay at home for your own good. Yet people go outside. I feel like Auntie Koro is here to expose African leaders because we are not prepared for Auntie Koro. But I love some of the decisions that some of you are taking and um, I really want to commend you for the great job that you're doing. Like personally, I feel like it's about time African leaders care about its people know that these people need what a medical facility i mean what class medical facilities you know when things like this do happen this is a pandemic we don't know when something like this will ever happen again or we were not ready for anti coro all of us were not ready but when you go to countries like china uk usa when the disease broke out they were able to what do something. China built a hospital in a week. We could also do exactly the same thing. But some of you, I mean some of you, if you are sick, you rather go to Europe, you rather go to America, you rather go to Asia to treat yourself, but forgetting that you have people to take care of. And Tukoro is really exposing some of you. Like I said, I'm so proud of some of the initiatives that most of you are giving right now. I watch Rwanda president distributing food to each and every household. I watch my own president giving his three month salary to fight the pandemic. My own ministers give their 50% of their salary to fight the pandemic, which is a great thing that you guys are doing. And like I said, anything that makes me proud or anything that makes me feel like you guys are now waking up i will always come here and commend you guys africans deserves better because this continent is so blessed like i said my journeys in africa has really opened my mindset to see how blessed africa is or if i hear someone saying that africa is the poorest continent in this world i just look at their faces and i'm telling you that are you mad i don't even want to hear that word poor people using the adjective or uh, to describe africa being a poor place to be I take a look at the african map we got all the resources that the world needs like i feel like africa don't even need the world africa don't need the world it's the world that needs africa because 
your mobile phone without a call time in Congo, your mobile phone will never work. Mention it. The queen sits on gold, which comes from Ghana. Mention it. Yet, people keep on looking down on this beautiful, blessed continent. Just because the people in front of us, the people who are leading us, are not leading us to the right direction. Antikoro is exposing most of us. But something that I saw on the internet that made me so proud, I mean, I don't know whether I'm a Nigerian by blood, even though some of you think I hate Nigeria or something, but the fatherland made me proud yesterday. But for Nigeria converting one of their national stadium. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Take this one and go. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Add more water. Hey, hey put water. Hey, come here. Come here. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just put water and milk. That's it. No, 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 no. Don't drop it. Just go. I part of me not sir. I don't know part. Go go part. Hurry up. Go out, out, outside. Outside. Hurry up. Go outside. Go in. Go go outside. What was I saying? I, I said that what Nigeria has done is something that I wish so many of us can learn from. I mean they converted one of their national stadium into an isolation center with brand new beds. They have vehicles that will convey people who are affected by the coronavirus to the hospital. So which means that, because they set social distances, so which means that you won't even get a chance to sit in a public transport. There'll be a car that will bring you all the way from your house to the isolation center. How cool is that? Uh, there's something that my president did yesterday. I was also impressed. I mean, the less privileged people, I think they gave everyone a hundred dollars to take care of themselves. They provided accommodation for each and every one, which is something beautiful. And um, just let me know in the comment section what is your government doing to prevent the spread of the coronavirus? Currently, my city is not on lockdown because I live in. Um, Takradi, Accra is on lockdown, right? And that's what I said, it's a partial lockdown. Let me know in the comment section if your city is locked down at this very moment. So, boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, I'd love to talk more, but you know, these kids are really disturbing. But we all want the best for Africa, and uh, we just hope that Antikoro will not spread too much in the continent. One thing that I would love to add to my fellow Africans out there about time we start telling our own story don't allow the western media to come to our various hospitals and start shooting dead people and come and tell us that 3,000 people 2,000 people are dying in Africa because when the issue happened in China we never saw dead bodies when the issue happened in which country again Italy yeah Italy they are showing us coffins and all that I've seen you, but when Ebola broke out, when these people are reporting news, they report walking on top of dead bodies and recording that a thousand people are dead. But when it started over there, we don't see that often. So when this pandemic now broke out here in Africa, please let us also tell our own story. Let's control what comes out. Let's keep certain things if we have to. It's a boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. But please, before I let you go, try as much as possible to wash your hands with soap and water don't forget to observe the social distancing it's very very necessary avoid overcrowded places my brother for me if i should advise you stay at home see i'm home there's so much noise in my house because everyone is home this is how you and i will be able to fight this pandemic in africa anti means anti-corona <laughs>